So the Mark 8.5 VW Golf R in depth. I'm going to go through everything about this. This car has now been officially revealed and unveiled. And yeah, I've got all the details to kind of go through. Yeah, starting off with this amazing Lapiz Blue Hatch version of the Mark 8.5 facelift. And yeah, I've got all the details here to kind of run through with you. Like quite literally, I'll show you here. I've got like a press kit just with all the information which I'm going to go through. I've got this in advance. So it gives me time to kind of go through it and yeah, and share it all with you. Kind of all the details and all the aspects of this um yeah and basically get straight into it but i'm going to start off straight away by kind of like the in brief kind of overview of it in terms of what's being essentially premiered so it's the golf r and the golf r variant the golf r variant being also known as an estate in sort of other regions or wagons um they've both got 333 ps which is an increase the large amount basically it's, it's the most powerful kind of version of the ea triple eight which is great 420 newton meters worth of torque um it's got the four motional wheel drive um, with our performance torque vectoring the running gear dcc which is dynamic chassis con adaptive control is now a standard that works really well in terms of adjusting the suspension in terms of the modes lots of changes in there new front design new 19 inch wheels yeah super super excited and yeah it's the most powerful model in the production line the new golf r yeah 245 kilowatts 333 ps um yeah interesting to know what you think of the looks of the car i'm going to be sharing all the videos in in detail of it um including all three variants including the black edition as well and i've actually got a separate video um coming soon on the channel actually you'll see that so check that out and that's on the black edition more in, in depth um, specifically on that car which is another new sort of like variant of the car so yeah really really excited really excited to share these these images and yeah again check back on um previous content on my channel as well because if you like this content you might like other stuff and subscribe because it really does help me to get more access with manufacturers you know volkswagen have provided me this information early so i can prep for it and get it out to you in time and the subscriptions what really counts and it i, I love the community i love working with you guys and you know we're all in it together to kind of get it in and I'm, I'm i'm super super excited to kind of share this more with you so yeah let's let's get straight into this so some of the brief overviews as well as i kind of mentioned um it can reach top speed of 167 miles now that's with the performance pack performance pack being standard on black editions you can get it as an option on normal ones there's been hardware and software updates with the tech as well which i've gone through a little bit with the mark 8.5 golf in general um, and essentially the the golf r always comes with the top of the range stuff so it's a 12.9 inch display which is super exciting so yeah you're not missing out there um yeah it does it looks so shiny in these images and yeah i hope they come out well for you and yeah definitely take your time to look through them because this is you know this was done really really like ultra high definition by volkswagen so it's as good as sort of footage you're going to get of these cars in terms of every single aspect so as i talk about the whole mark 8.5 golf r um, you know yeah study the images have a little look feel free to pause the video and just check out certain aspects because it's worth seeing as i kind of yeah continue to talk um yeah so the golf r debut so it's a new front design sort of exclusive to the r new light system um, the new 19 inch forged alloy wheel which is um exciting which is lightweight new infotainment system I, I love how Volkswagen have mentioned in sort of like um, their press pack, which I mentioned that I'm just going through now. It's basically word for word of what they've they've given me, essentially. Um, they've said excellent price per performance ratio, and that's really good. And it, it mentioned specifically in Germany, and it says about how things like um, there's a lot of standard equipment and the adaptive DCC running gear and are at the same time less expensive as well. So it's like, yes, it, they mentioned that for Germany. I believe it will also be for Europe as well. And based on what I've shared on the Golf GTI again on a, a previous video, and um, they did bring the price down on that. And that, that's a big point. You know, all these changes are fantastic and they're nice. And it's great to see a Mark 8.5 facelift Golf R. Love this car. Love it so much. That EA AAA engine is so tried and tested. It's gone through so much. Um, you know, I've got a Mark 7 Golf R and I love it. It's got the EA AAA and yeah, it, it's brilliant as well. Um, they've mentioned as well, it's got the potential to become a new design icon, which is the Golf R Black Edition. So I'll share a little bit of that just here as well. And that's basically black styling and it comes with the performance pack as standard with the performance pack, you get top speed 167 miles an hour, black badging. Yeah, it, it does look proper menacing. Black sort of exhaust tips as well on that. And again, I've got a separate video just specifically on the Black Edition as well, because yeah, there's a fair bit to go through for that. And yeah, the Golf R variant, which is the estate, and that combines the performance of the sports car with the all-round properties of a practical estate car. 
And uh, yeah, it's dynamic, it's fun, it's great. So yeah, that's kind of like a brief overview. But yeah, now let's get into the specifics of what I, I'm basically going to go through in this press pack word for word while you kind of <laughs> look at all these fantastic images of the car. You know, I'll go through obviously the hatch and the estate. You know, one has um, the Akrapovich exhaust, one just has the standard exhaust, one has the black s draw wheels, one has the new um, the new well, Maneu exhausts exhausts wheels as well which look proper special and you can get them in black you can get them in diamond cut as well you can still get the estrals too um as standard um golf R's still come with the 18 inch wheels but you can get these ones as options i think go for the option wheels if you can personally so yeah new design the golf r debut model debuts with a new front design new led tail headlights illuminated volkswagen logo and new led tail light clusters i love the rear tail light clusters i think they're crystal clear you might be noticing that as i've obviously shown the images and i'm still kind of chattering on and getting excited about it but yeah this is just to give you an idea as i kind of talk what exactly is getting changed and but the design is just i i, I really like the design i love the shine of it um, I, I love the Golf R. It's the top of the range Golf. It's practical. It does everything. I'm, I'm a big fan, big fan of these hatches. It's just a pure petrol engine with a turbo. So yeah, good stuff. Um, 245 kilowatts, 333 PS. As the new status quo, the Golf R accelerates to 100 kilometers an hour. It's about 60 miles an hour in 4.6 seconds. And the estate completes in 4.8. Pretty quick, pretty quick enough. I mean, what more do you want really from a, a, an all round car? Do it all, everything. Um, that's certainly enough from my perspective. Extended high-tech equipment. I've shared videos on this around that as well, just in terms of the, the new, sort of like new generation sort of chat GPT as well, sort of inside that with the screen and how that kind of incorporates everything. But it's mentioned about the equipment is a standard with DCC adaptive running gear and a complete new infotainment system generation. And one thing you may have spotted or it may be coming up in a future image um, the steering wheel remains the same buttons as the Mark 8, so as in it's haptic, which is really, really interesting. Um, it's got the R button and they have done tweaks on the way the functionality works. They've really, and this is a big point for me, They've, for me, they've listened to the consumers, they've listened to the feedback from the Mark 8 and they've implemented things. Some people mentioned that like people were accidentally pressing the R button um, when sort of driving potentially enthusiastically. And that was obviously distracting from the, the thrill of driving. So they've made that button slightly more difficult to press. Or, I mean, that's one to try in person. I, I really look forward to, to sharing this car in person, you know. And again, that's where the support comes from the channel. So, yeah, if you are watching this, um, literally pause the video and just subscribe to the channel because that's all that matters. They'll, they'll look at the subscriptions and that was that's where I'll get the access. It's less to do with the views. I hope you enjoy my content and I'm, I love the community as part of it. But yeah, you've got to be uh, you've got to be subscribed to be able to just yeah to receive better content because that's what I want to keep striving for and uh, keep sharing with you all. And yeah, my analytics say that a lot of people watch my content and not as many of you as subscribe. So now's the time to do it. This is it. This is the one. Um, so yeah, the new 19-inch alloy wheels, well, Mayu wheels, rim developed by Volkswagen R is 20% lighter and cools the brakes thanks to its aerodynamic design. Um, black exclusive model. Golf R Black Edition launches with IQ headlights, LED matrix headlights, and performance package as standard equipment. I'm basically reading this word for word so I don't get anything wrong because there's a lot, a lot to take in. Um, yeah. Volkswagen R presents the most powerful Golf models of our time. The new Golf R and the new Golf R variants. The, max, the new maximum power output corresponds to an increase of 10 kilowatts compared with the direct predecessors as standard. The power has so far only been available in exclusive special models, i.e. The, um, the R20, 20 years anniversary. The Golf R variant, they say variant, it's a new word for me because I just call it a state in the UK. So yeah, apologies if you're wondering what variant is, because um, I am, has never been before being available with this amount of power so yeah 333 ps from an estate that's proper that's really really good i've driven some fast estates in my time so including the focus st estate which i've enjoyed but yeah with the all-wheel drive that's a lot of power to yeah that's a proper blaster and can you imagine that with the lightweight wheels as well what a combo um the the times for the classic sprint from 0 to 100 as i've mentioned um, 4.6 for the hatch, 4.8 for the estate. Um, and the top speed has been increased by 20 kilometers an hour to 270 by adding the performance package. 
And this makes the Golf R models the world's fastest Volkswagens, together with the Arteon R shooting brake. Sharper design, new hardware and software. And I'll sort of, you'll, you'll get to see basically every single footage that I have from Volkswagen. They sent me this in advance. They sent me all the high def footage. So yeah, you'll, you'll basically see it. You can kind of basically scroll through the video if you want to see the images that you want, essentially, whether it's the infotainment, whether it's the inside, whether it's the black edition, whether it's the, the normal R, whether it's the estate, anything you want to see, it's going to be in this video. Or you can stay tuned with me as I, I talk you through it all and gently look at the videos of a car that you may well potentially be buying, you may be thinking of buying, or you might just be curious about. So yeah, stay with me, stay with me. I appreciate this is a, this is a lot to take in, it's a lot to take in for me as well. I'm, I'm quite excited to share it with you. And yeah, I appreciate you staying with me and, and listening actually, really, really do. Um, so yeah, the sharper design, new hardware and software, the 2024 Golf R models are clearly recognizable by the redesigned front with new LED headlights, a Volkswagen badge that is now illuminated for the first time, new air curtains in the bumper, new LED tail light clusters and the new optionally available 19 inch Wormeo forged wheels. If I pronounced that wrong, I apologize. It's a, it's a city just outside Wolfsburg, I believe in Germany. New details in, inside include the latest generation infotainment system with a visually freestanding display and a new menu structure. The digital top cockpit pro in the versions with the performance package has been enhanced with a new G meter and a GPS lap timer. Despite the increased power, new generation infotainment system, numerous improvements to the finer details and DCC adaptive chassis control system now included at no extra cost the golf r models will be launched in germany at lower prices europe-wide pre-sales start in june coinciding exactly with the 50th anniversary of the golf other global markets will follow successfully so i'm actually as i film this i'm filming this on the 25th of june of 2024 and you will see on the 26th of 20, june 2024 because that's when the embargo lifts so yeah that's when you'll get to see it so I'm bang up to date. So touching on the black edition, um, exclusive Golf R black edition, the debut of the new R models is another highlight in the long success story of the Golf R. It began in the summer of 2002 with the legendary Golf R32, which had uh, 177 kilowatts and 241 PS. People will remember that, 3.2 V6. Um, this car and its four successors have sold more than 250,000 units so far. So that's pretty cool with the R. The four motion wheel drive system and maximum performance are common denominators and can naturally also be found in the 2024 Golf R models. This is particularly evident in the example of the new Golf R Black Edition, an, exclu an exclusive model that will be available to order straight away upon market launch. The Golf R Black Edition is designed to have a completely dark look and has a top speed of 270 km an hour. It boasts features such as a black 19-inch Estral wheels, 19-inch Wormeo forged wheels in black available as an optional equipment, darkened Volkswagen badges and R logos, black R brake calipers, that's as opposed to normal blue R brake calipers, with a dark R logo and black tailpipe rims. The new darkened IQ light LED matrix headlights are also standard. Its standard equipment also includes the otherwise optional performance package. In addition to the higher top speed, it offers two additional modes for motorsport enthusiasts who also drive on track away from normal road traffic that's part of the performance pack i should stress not just part of the black edition but the black edition comes with the performance pack as standard that's drift and special the latter was specifically adapted to Nur nurburgring norge life additional downforce is provided by a larger roof spoiler through which the airflow is rooted the performance package also includes the gps lap time and the g meter the boundaries between series production and motorsports are broken down here in a fascinating new level of performance. High tech new wheels from Volkswagen R. I've spoken about this as well before. New developments are the already mentioned 19 inch Wormeo Wormeo Ford wheels, named after the headquarters of Volkswagen R in the towns of, town of Wormeo on the outskirts of Wolfsburg, with a weight of only eight kilograms per wheel rim. They are about 20% lighter, and that's unsprung weight as well, I should mention than comparable alloy wheels. This reduces the unsprung masses and ensures perfect handling. In addition, the very large opening degree of the rims, 71%, improves stability and wear resistance as the brakes are cooled even more effectively and are thus subjected to less thermal stress, especially on race tracks. And actually, I believe the front end, it's designed to cool the air as well. So really cool stuff, stuff that makes a difference that you don't really know too much about, it's, it's cool. 
And highlights for me, if I was to share my highlights as we sort of get towards this sort of phase in the video, I like the lights. I think they look cool. I like the new wheels. I like the Krakowicz exhaust. I like the styling. I like the inside. I'm a big fan. I'm a Golf R fan. I'm just interested to know what it's like to configure this car in the UK. And I'll, I'll, I'll share that on the on the channel in the future as well to give you a good clue on the price and the exact options and everything involved in it. And uh, yes, subscribe if you want to see that, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, and as soon as it's there, I will send it. You know, I will I get my videos out pretty quickly, as you'll probably see with um, today's one. <laughs> um, so the Golf update as the basis. So it says the new Golf R models are based on the eighth generation of the Golf, which was significantly updated earlier in 2024. So I actually drove a Volkswagen Golf Mark 8 Black Edition. This was not an R, this was not an 8.5, this was an 8 Black Edition. And that was a 2024 model. And that had a lot of, the DCC, the dynamic chassis control was brilliant in that car. So there's no doubt that that's being carried over to now the Mark 8.5. So that that's brilliant. Um, the IQ light LED matrix headlights are a new technical feature. They offer a high performance main beam with about 15% more range for the first time. As already described above, all Golf R models are equipped with a completely new infotainment system that is operated via a new freestanding touchscreen, 12.9 inch. In addition, operation of the multifunction steering wheel has been optimized. So this is key. So yeah, if you want to listen to any part of the video, <laughs> this is a key part to listen to because, hey, this is probably going to be quite a big top talking point. And I'm interested to know your thoughts in the comments about the whole car, including this section that I'm just about to talk about. So as before, a special feature here is the blue R button. You press the blue R button and you get basically all the R modes come up and it's just something unique to the R which activates the various driving profiles, including the exclusive race mode. And it says here, this is where I really feel they've listened to consumers, which is nice, to, or even journalists, to prevent unintentional activation of race mode, the trigger threshold of the R button has been increased, adjusting the speed when the adaptive cruise control ACC is active is now also more intuitive. The plus button on the steering wheel increases the speed by 10 kilometers an hour each time it is pressed, or the minus button reduces the speed by 10 kilometers an hour. I remember subscribers saying to me that some of the functionality they did not like. So this is what they've done. The set button can be used to increase the speed in one kilometer an hour increments, while the RES button reduces the speed by one kilometer each time it's pressed. So I appreciate this is, you know, you're seeing some wonderful images of the Golf R Mark 8.5, but I'm going to go through everything in depth, basically. So for, for, for basically someone who's looking at this car, you want to stay listening to this video. Um, yeah, it, it's important. You know, if you want to buy this car, you want to know everything about it, this is the place to kind of get it. And future stuff. I love the Golf R. I love my hot hatches. You'll get to see more on the channel. Yeah, just, just stick with me. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get through this together. Um, Smart voice assistant, that's um, so new, new on board is the IDA voice assistant, which can be used to control classic functions such as the air conditioning system, telephone or the navigation system, and to activate specific features such as the driving profiles and race mode. For the first time voice control can be accessed by chat GDP and thus use all the potential of artificial intelligence AI to answer all your conceivable general knowledge questions. So that's pretty cool. On the tech side, the turbocharged engine, superior 333 PS and 420 newton meters of torque. This is the most advanced version of what is the one of the best engines. I, well, I just love it, the EA888. This is the Evo 4. And uh, yeah, essentially what it says here, the highest output of the engine tuned by Volkswagen R is available between 5,600 and 6,500 RPM. The engine develops its maximum torque of 420 newton meters in the engine. Speed range from 2,100 to 5,500 RPM. The engine speeds values alone already make it clear that this turbocharged engine has no turbo lag and spontaneously unleashes maximum dynamic power in every situation. The direct en injection engine is generally characterized by innovative solutions for the for individual details such as integration of water-cooled exhaust gas routing to the turbocharger in the cylinder head. Thanks to an, a fully electronic coolant regulator unit, the TSI features very efficient thermal management with a short warm-up phase. 
The resultant reduction in friction losses contributes to reducing fuel consumption. The engine is also characterized by variable valve timing and double camshaft control. In addition, the valve lift can be switched in two stages of the exhaust side. This solution permits optimal control of gas exchange with respect to performance, consumption and exhaust emissions. The TSI transfers its power to a dual clutch transmission and the four motion all drive system with our performance torque vectoring cool love the engine brilliant um they've added another two driving modes so this is quite cool so five plus two driving mode profiles in the golf r the driving profiles comfort sport race and individual were previously available along with special and drift in conjunction with the performance pack this spectrum is now expanded with the eco driving profile, which makes more leisurely journeys even more sustainable. Again, this is an important part to listen to. Listen to these little changes. They're really important. I, yeah, I just encourage you to listen. Um, the, the comfort profile has been modified. In the new Golf R versions, the shift characteristics for the 7-speed DSG have been changed so that upshifting now takes place approximately 100 RPM later. The comfort profile is thus even sportier as a result. In the sport profile, the start-stop system and the coasting function are deactivated. That's a convenient feature. You don't have to then return it off. You just stick it in sport mode, which is nice, really convenient. In addition, the selective wheel torque control and entire drive system are configured to make them extremely sporty in the race profile. Features such as the DCC, Selective wheel torque control, progressive steering and all-wheel drive are additionally adjusted once more to a significantly sportier setting. Drivers can set a wide range of parameters themselves in individual mode. That's cool. Loads of little changes. If you, if yeah, but you're glad you're still listening to this video because it tells you everything. I, I literally am going to go in depth of everything that Volkswagen have told me and shared with me, uh, as you can tell. Further sharpened our profile. The performance of the new Golf R generation is further enhanced in the race driving profile. This can be activated by the means of the blue R button, which I mentioned in the left steering wheel trim on the infotainment system or by voice control in this case. The, turbocharge is pre the turbocharger is preconditioned so that it is kept at a higher tur turbine speed, even when driving under partial load, for example, at a cons constant speed on a country road. As a result, power delivery is more spontaneous as soon as the vehicle accelerates again. In race mode, the throttle valve is also opened in overrun phases. If the driver lifts off the accelerator before a bend and then accelerates again after the apex of the corner, they can clearly feel the faster buildup of engine torque. All this optimizes vehicle handling and dynamics. The additional special and drift profiles are available in the performance package. They're making this car as good as they can do. They really, really are. Um, special profile. The special profile has been specifically configured for the Nürburgring Nordschleife and configures a softer setup for the, the DCC running gear. So that's basically just makes the suspension more softer. Quite good for UK roads, actually. So yeah, probably stick it, whack it in the Nürburgring mode. It also changes the dash, which is quite cool. Um, so there yeah, configures a softer setup for the DCC running gear compared with race mode to make sure the Golf R can maintain maximum contact with the road on the undulation Nordschleife track. The adaptive chassis control DCC is configured here with a special vertical setup. See, these are real fine tuned stuff. You know, they're not messing around here. They've tested this Volkswagen. They're right next to the Nürburgring. They're going to be doing like millions of hours <laughs> of testing. And this is where I love OEM. Have this car standard. Don't change it. Don't modify it. Don't do anything. The manufacturer has gone to the nth degree the absolute degree. Just have this car as is. What a brilliant car. It's sounding really good. I, I'm looking forward to seeing it and trying it in person, you know. And I'm looking forward to sharing that all with you and, and my thoughts. And yeah, I'm excited to see who's potentially ordering one as well out of my subscribers and viewers. So yeah, let me let us know in the comments. Don't don't forget to get involved after you finish watching this video. And um, that's for sure. A special tune optimized for lateral dynamics is also achieved by the vehicle dynamics manager and selective wheel torque control so that the vehicle handles the corners of the Nürburgring perfectly. The driver can also manually deactivate the electronic stability control, ESC. Furthermore, downshifts in automatic DSG mode performed depending on the brake pressure perfectly match every deacceleration ahead of corners. The current gear is maintained depending on the lateral deacceleration and the speed at which the accelerator is released fast off. 
In manual DSG mode, this is another big point, stay with me. The usual forced upshifts and kick down are also omitted in order to offer the driver the maximum control over the individual gears. For the turbocharged engine, this means the load changes are adjustable in order to optimize steering response and lateral dynamics. In addition, the engine speed is increased to improve the performance when pulling away and the accelerator characteristic is adapted for optimal control. You don't want to be tweaking this car at all. They've done it all. You just use the probes. Um, drift mode. In the drift mode, um, drift performance um, profile, the parameters for ESC control to change to ESC sport and additional power by the all-wheel drive system. They have the Golf Arts drift on private tracks. Um, to make sure the profile is only selected on private roads, the infotainment system always displays a confirmation prompt before it is activated. Engine starts at increased speed. This is cool. The Golf R models offer numerous enhanced performance features that make driving the Volkswagen a special experience. The engine starts with higher speeds is one example. If the driver presses the engine start button, engine start without brake operation for at least 1.5 seconds and then starts the engine by pressing the brake pedal, the starting speed briefly automatically increases to 2,500 RPM. This mode is underlined by an acoustic statement, a deep burbling sound. So motorsport sound. This is quite cool about the Akrapovich as well, inside and out. They've, they've blended this quite well. You've got to bear in mind, they're learning with all the regulations and the rules now to get things right. So that's super exciting. The sound of the exhaust system has generally been further developed to enhance the acoustic feedback and the characteristic motorsport feel feeling of the Golf R. Backfire can be heard on the outside. That's exciting from engine speeds of just 2,500 RPM. A typical sound from the world of motorsport. Inside a sound actuator, make sure that the engine has an even rougher sound. Once again, evoking motorsport. The sound of the now even richer sounding R Performance titanium exhaust system from Akrapovich has likewise been optimized. So they're making things all that little bit better. Um, yeah, really, really sounding exciting, actually. Really, really exciting. Don't worry. We won't stay too much longer, but yeah, getting all the details here. The full motion with R Performance Torque vectoring. All versions of the Golf R feature and full motion all-wheel drive system. Great in wet weather. Great in the UK. I appreciate it's sunny now, summer now, but it will get wet again at some point. And four-wheel drive is pretty sensational. Um, a rear final drive developed by Volkswagen R distributes the drive power variably between the front and rear axles and between the left and right rear wheels. Here's how it works. The differential from the four motion drive system, familiar from other Volkswagen MQB models, MQB modular transverse matrix, that's the platform that it's based on, transfers the power via a multi-plate clutch to the left and the right hand rear wheels with a ratio of 50-50. Even when the differential lets them rotate at different speeds, when cornering, the new four motion all wheel drive system with R performance torque vectoring developed for the Golf R can additionally distribute the torque variably between both rear wheels, thanks to the wheel selective power at the wheels up to 100% of the possible torque can be directed to the wheel on the outside of the bend. This reduces the cornering radius and understeer is eliminated, leading to noticeably more agile vehicle handling. I've driven plenty of Mark 8 Golf Rs. They drive really well. They, they drive a lot better than the Mark 7s and the 7.5s. That was based on a bit more of a, yeah, more of a stable. This is just a little bit more dynamic, in my subjective opinion. The intensity of the power distribution is determined by the current steering angle, accelerator, pedal position, lateral acceleration, yaw rate, and speed. The driver can use the driving profiles to influence operation of the stabilizing vehicle dynamic systems and the four motion all wheel drive system with our performance torque vectoring. The running gear, DCC control now is standard. McPherson front axle, four link axle, progressive steering, 18 inch brakes, 18 inch brakes, they're big. The basic layout of the sports running gear, which is lowered by 20 millimeters compared to the standard version, consists of the McPherson front axle, a four link rear axle and a high stability 18 inch brake system. Progressive steering is installed as standard. It operates with progressive gear ratio and significantly reduces the effort required on to steer when removing on parking. On winding country roads and when turning off, drivers will notice a greater dynamic response thanks to the more direct setup. It also means drivers do not have to change their hand position as frequently. For the first time, the previously optional DCC adaptive chassis control is now on board as standards in Germany. 
So Intelligent Vehicle Dynamics Manager in the Golf R, the Golf R variant, a highly innovative vehicle dynamics manager, not only closely integrates the electronic differential locks, XDS, and lateral dynamics components of the controlled shock absorbers in the in the adaptive chassis control system, DCC, but also for the first time, the four motion all wheel drive system with R performance torque vectoring, electroman mechanically adjustable running gear systems once again significantly enhance the balance between maximum dynamics and the highest levels of comfort. The vehicle's dynamics manager coordinates the electronic <laughs> the electromechanical functions of the all-wheel drive system. Basically there's lots of stuff in this and it does the job. Trust this car. Trust this car. Electronic differential lock and lateral dynamics components of the DCC shock absorbers during every driving maneuver. Adjustment of the wheel specific damping ensures particularly agile and precise handling. The vehicle dynamics manager also enables calculation of perfect clutch control for the selective wheel torque control function to further optimize agility and stability. In parallel to this targeted braking intervention of the vehicle side on the inside of the, of the bend further reduces understeer in the transition and limits ranges. Traction is, is improved by an uh, increased locking torque in the selective wheel torque control and vehicle handling is slightly more biased towards the rear instead of an understeering tendency. I've mentioned DCC a few times, but it's mentioning it here again. Germany is fitted a standard. Don't know about the UK. We'll find out for sure. I'm kind of guessing it might well be. Um, continuously reacts to the road surface. It's a really good system. They've really tweaked this road, this system as well, the DCC. Um, and yeah, the road surface and driving situation while taking into account various elements, including steering, braking, and acceleration. The lateral dynamics components of the DCC running gear are coordinated and further optimized by the vehicle dynamics manager using the set driving profile. The driver can influence the, re the reduction in the body motion as desired. The required damping is calculated for each wheel and adjusted at the four shock absorbers within fractions of a second. Consequently, DCC always provides the highest levels of driving comfort and op optimal driving dynamics. Get DCC. If you're watching this and you have any Mark 8.5 or Mark 8, get DCC. I regret not having it on my Mark 7. And this is the latest version. Have DCC. It comes as standard by looks of it on the Golf R for the Mark 8.5. Individual ESC control, this is something new. The driver can deactivate ESC by means of the vehicle menu. When starting the Golf R and the Golf R variant, the estate, the ESC is always active as a full system. After this, the ESC can be adapted in two stages, an ESC Sport and ESC thresholds and, e and TS TCS slip thresholds are increased to reduce the intensity of interventions. In ESC off mode, experienced drivers can Additionally, deactivate ESC altogether for all driving situations. However, front assist and the swerve support functions reactivate the full ESC system in an emergency. It's interesting. Um, I've spoken, well, you've seen all the images. You've seen all the, the videos, so you, it's all subjective to what you think. The exterior, the new front design and the new 19-inch wheels the distinctive R design, the Golf R and the Golf R variant are characterized by an exterior look and exterior equipment that set them apart from all the other models and read in the production line. The entire front section below the headlights, the side members, exterior mirror caps, wheel range, as well as the lower areas of the rear apron and the four pipe exhaust system were all designed and developed specifically by Volkswagen R. Front sections with an R design, the 2024 Golf R models can be recognized from the front by the completely newly designed bumpers and the new LED headlights. The headlights now have straighter lines, are more are visually more striking and narrow significantly towards the inside. You may be noticing this from all the images anyway in the videos. All Golf R models are equipped with LED plus headlights, a standard, a horizontal LED strip and the illuminated Volkswagen badge are integrated into the lighting system. The illuminated Volkswagen badge gives rise to a new unmistakably Volkswagen light design. The R logo is integrated into the radiator grille. The blue application above the horizontal LED strip is another characterized characteristic R feature. A further light highlight is the latest generation of the optionally available IQ LED light LED matrix headlights. They are equipped with a new high performance LED beam with about 15% more range than the predecessor system. 
located underneath the new, new bumper with its aerodynamic elements in high gloss black, included, including targeting car targeted air routing to cool the brakes, the high gloss black ventilation grille and the front splitter in motorsport style. Silhouette in our design. At the sides, the new Golf R and the new Golf R variant are distinguished from all other models in the product line by the exterior mirror housing in matte chrome, with R logo projection as part of the exterior background lighting. The R logo on the doors below the exterior mirrors, each members with a specific design, silver anodized roof rails on the Golf R variant, and an independent wheel rim range. For the first time, the hubcaps on the 18 and 19 inch wheels feature the R logo instead of the Volkswagen badge. Available for all gold. Okay, here we go. There's more. So basically, it's talking about the the rims now, which is quite cool. I like the estrals actually. Overview of the Golf R design wheel rims. The Golf R models, except Golf R Black Edition, are equipped with the 18 inch Durez wheel rim and 225 40 section tyres as standard. The 19 inch Estrel wheel rim with diamond cut surface, standard for performance package or in all black trim, standard for the Golf R Black Edition. Feel free to, yeah, try to keep up with this. <laughs> I'm getting there too. Um, and I appreciate you still listening into this, really do. Um, with 235 35 tyres as available as optional equipment. As a completely new development, the new 19 inch Wormeo Forge wheel is optionally available for all models in black or with a diamond cut finished. Also with 235 35-second tyres, the 18-inch Bergamo winter wheel in sterling silver is also available for Golf R models. The blue painted black brake calipers, black on the Golf R Black Edition, with our logo are recognisable behind the wheel trims. Rear end in our design, the newly designed LED taillights are standard equipment on the Golf R models in conjunction with the IQ LED light LED matrix models. The new 3D LED tail lights with dynamic fun flashing function are optionally available. Their welcome and goodbye effects can be customized using the vehicle setting. There is a choice of three effects. The level below features a bumper in R design, a diffuser in high gloss black, and the four pipe tailpipes of the exhaust. Twin pipe tailpipes on the left and the right. The Golf R classic hatchback version can be optionally ordered with the now even richer sounding R performance titanium exhaust system, the Akrapovich. Both systems have controllable sound flaps. The models with the performance package can be recognized at the rear by a particularly large roof spoiler through which the airflow is directed and which thus optimizes the downforce. Talk a lot about the infotainment system. It's all for all Golf R models, you get the, the full whack, which I've shared videos on my channel as well. So feel free to check back on that as well. Um, and yeah, it's there's it, it's it's a system which is for AI and for the future essentially. Um, so, but they have extended the digital cockpit pro um, just to enhance it for the Golf R models. That's quite an interesting thing that they've actually done. And it just says the new Golf R models are equipped with the enhanced digital cockpit pro as standard ten point two inches. The driver can use corresponding buttons on the multifunction steering wheel to set up different basic graphic configurations in addition to the classic views from other models in the production line. The Digital Cockpit Pro in the Golf R offers this enhanced sports skin featuring a central round rev counter with an R specific design including the R logo. A three-dimensional layout, the R view with numeric fields is additionally available as an exclusive feature. There is a horizontal rev counter at the rear top edge of the display. The scale for this flat horizontal display ranges from 0 to 8, equivalent to 0 to 8,000 RPM. So that's all specific to the R. In models with the performance package, the display provides gear shift recommendations. When manual mode is activated, in manual DSG mode, the driver uses, the, which is quite interesting actually, uses the shift by wire buttons on the center console, don't know how that quite works, or the paddles on the steering wheel to perform manual gear shifts. Particularly when driving on racetracks, the gear recommendation pro provides valuable assistance. Since automatic upshifts are intentionally deactivated in manual mode in the special and drift driving profiles, the functions in the the digital cockpit pro in conjunction with the performance package included gps lap timer and g meter g forces as additional information it is possible to display current data such as the charge pressures gearbox temperature torque power a g meter and the torque distribution of the all-wheel drive 
The torque distribution between the four wheels is now shown by means of a newly visualized Golf R. Read on for more about the GPS lap timer for the racetrack and the G meter. So the GPS lap timer for the racetrack compared with the already available familiar lap timer, the GPS lap timer introduced here, additionally uses satellite signals and thus makes it possible to automatically measure split times. This is how the GPS lap timer works. The track is first given once is first driven once to learn the route and the start and finish lines are set. In addition, up to three GPS measuring points can be set for up for recording split times from the next lap. The total and split times are automatically recorded and saved. Let me know if you're going to take your golf on track because I'll be interested in how much this is actually going to be used. I'm really curious about that. The GPS lap timer additionally shows the driver the f- difference in times compared to the fastest lap to date. After crossing the finish line, the last and fastest lap with the respective split times of the individual measuring points are displayed. Thanks to automated timekeeping, the driver can concentrate fully on the track. What is more, the accuracy is very high. G meter for the classic sprint. The new G meter offers three different modes, 0 to 100, 80 to 100 kilometers an hour, eight, sorry, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 80 to 120 kilometers an hour, and quarter mile. The respective measurements can be started either by moving off from a standstill or by means of visualized traffic lights. Um, for, as in motorsport, five lights dots counts down for the traffic lights to start. <laughs> That's pretty clever. When using the traffic light start, moving off too early or too late leads to a false start to increase the accuracy of the measurement. The G-meter is an exciting feature for testing the performance of the Golf R and for finding out more how the weather, the tyres, the road surface affects acceleration. Equipment by Volkswagen R. The interior of Golf R models is ergonomically tailored to the driver and exclusively refined R style. The drive and front passengers sit on premium sports seats with integrated head rate restraints. I don't believe there are any change from the Mark 8 at all. Optionally available is the Nappa leather seats featuring carbon looked elements. Um, the multifunction steering wheel is the same as the Mark 8 as well, but obviously redesigned. It comes with ergonomically shaped DSG pedals that are larger than the standard production models, a blue steering wheel mark at the six o'clock position, blue contrast stitching, and naturally the R button for direct selection of the various driving profiles, R specific doors, side trims, floor mats, the R logo, pedal caps. Yeah, extended stand equipment. For the first time, a ball coupling with a drawbar load of 80 kilo kilograms is available for the Golf R in the hatchback version. The maximum trailer weight is 1,900 kilos. There you go. And the final little bit is Volkswagen R is Volkswagen's premium performance brand and is responsible for the sportiest vehicles that complement the product range. With more than 35,000 vehicles produced, the year 2023 was a record year for Volkswagen R. A total of more than 300,000 R models have been delivered since 2002. Volkswagen R is now realigning itself for the future Based on the set, the four pillars, design, performance design, innovation and quality, the portfolio will gradually see a shift to all electric car models by 2030. Volkswagen R was founded in 2002 as Volkswagen Individual GmbH. Since 2020, the department has been a separate business unit within the Volkswagen brand. The R in the name continues to symbolise the passion for motorsport and racing to the present day. And that is my in-depth overview of the Mark 8.5 Golf R. What do you think? Thanks for watching and leave a help, happy comment if you got this far in the video. And it's got to be worth a subscribe if you're not subscribed because I've talked through this for the whole 44 minutes. So yeah, it's it's a cool car. I hope you've enjoyed the images and the videos. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I, I really do appreciate it, and I'm really grateful to be able to share this. Um, yeah, in advance and obviously allow you guys to see it on the release date on the embargo release date from Volkswagen and yeah stay tuned I'll share plenty more to come in the future take care